guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my go-to hijab looks and I guess a hijab tutorial. To be frank, I never thought I would sit here and be doing a hijab tutorial but here I am. And there is construction happening and I'm trying my best to film at empty pockets of silence. So bear with me. <laughs> Before we jump right into the video, be sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified as to when I upload a brand new video. So let's jump right into my hijab tutorial. Right, so the thing about me is that the hijab style that I like is very clean and it doesn't involve so many pins. I like things that are very efficient and quick and of course it has to look good and match with my style. So I realized that this particular style that I like to do suits the kind of outfits that I wear and the kind of look that I'm going for. So I use three different um, shawls or different products um, yeah, uh, to achieve the hijab styles that I like. And they are mainly the Adina Anis Tri Scarves, the Lux Square Shawl which I have on right now and Dark Scarves. Um, so I'm just going to do a tutorial or like how I do my hijab with each of these uh, products or these, I keep saying products, each of these um, shawls. So let's jump right into it. The first style that I like to do is using the Adina Anis Lux Square Shawl. So this is what it looks like. This is my main daily driver for now since I'm working from home quite a fair bit. Um, and it's just something so easy if you're like new like me to the hijab and you are very overwhelmed with pins. This is like your go-to. This is so easy. So what this is, is like it's like a, like a curved shawl kind of thing and it has this area where you put on your forehead. I usually don't wear any inners when I use the Lux Square shawl because it acts as an inner already but because of this video, I just put on my um, inner cap. So this is what, guys, this is so basic. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So what I do is, uh, my mirror is here. So I just like kind of place my head like, you know, equal lengths of this like tie back thingy. And I'll just put it back like this. And I will tie it at the back. I'll do like a knot. And guys, I'm so sorry if there's like construction sounds because yeah I just tie this at the back and then I bring this forward and I try to leave a little bit at the back if I can something like that and then with this side I just kind of scrunch it up like this because I feel that it gives very nice drapes and layers oh no I dirtied my shawl already oh dear okay I need to wash this anyway um, yeah I like to pick it up like that because I feel that it drapes nicely and I just flick that to the back and I do the same thing here and I flick this to the back Oof, got here. and then I'm done <laughs> I just then tie it at the back loosely and I just let it fall like that so if I'm wearing the this particular sc scarf this is essentially my look for the day. I just do this and I'm pretty much good to go. Another thing that you should note about the hijab styles that I like is that they're pretty high up. So I depend on using a lot of collared shirts. I wear turtlenecks. I wear like those neck cover bibs that I just randomly got from Nilofar last time when I went to JB. And yeah, it helps to keep like the neck area covered. Since you're tying the hijab like quite high up, so that's why I I'm wearing a turtleneck today and usually in my clothes that I pick it's always like with collar, high neck, mock neck um, so that I can achieve this look. So this is the first style. I told y'all it was really easy and by the way this is the Lux Square Shawl. Um, it's in the chiffon material and it is in the colour Misty Grey if I'm not wrong. So yeah, so this is the first style. Alright, so now moving on to the second style. I'll be using a dark scarf here and this is the matte satin silk one. I forgot what the name of it is but or rather I forgot what's the colour but it's this cream colour and I have a couple of dark scarves. This is my favourite material because it's easy to manage. It's not slippery so it's easy to use 
And uh, for this one, I use some pins just to secure it. And depending on which material I'm using, I will secure it under my chin also. So for this one, I don't see a need to secure under my chin. But if you have the dark scarf satin material, you have to um, secure it under chin. If not, it's gonna just like keep slipping and sliding. But anyway, um, I just put it over my head. So this is the second style I like to do with uh, long shawls. If you don't have a dark scarf, you can just use this with any long shawl that you own. I think it pretty much will work with any, uh, with, with all lah, basically. It's so easy, guys. Okay, so I have it an equal length. Oh god, I've been watching so many like hijab tutorials and they keep doing this. I never thought I would do it, but uh, well, things change. I like to, you know, have that point um, in my scarf for my looks. So I got, I'm gonna use this like hijab pin. It's basically like, it's kind of circular at the end. It doesn't have the intertwining portion so that it don't you don't snag your hijab. And I got it from Ellie Apparels um, at Golden Landmark uh, building. So it's really cheap. It's like $1.80 and you get like a whole bunch. So what I do is I kind of frame it. Like I frame the scarf on my face. If I like, once I like how that pointy thingy looks like, I mean it's really up to you. Some people like to pin it to the back just like how the luck square shawl looks like but for me this particular um this particular shawl i just pin it under my chin some people don't like it because it's restrictive but i'm okay with it so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it so once i pin it i kind of adjust it and similarly like just now i'm just gonna gather one side and this is what i like to do to maintain the neatness of the drapes and i just flick it to the back and neaten along the way and I do the same thing to the other side so I just gather 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 and then I'll just flick it back and generally I kind of like this flip back look but you know when you're out at work and in public like things are just gonna keep slipping down so I will just tie it at the back and usually I'll just do one but if the satin one, I will recommend to do two because it's very slippery. So um, why I like using the straight pins or the straight hijab pins is that I don't like it to move around. So I always put three. I put one at the top. On one side. And I'll pin the other side. So when, you know, like you're out and about, this area doesn't doesn't shift or move around too much. So yeah, that's my second go-to hijab style. Now on to the last hijab style. And I will be using another Adina Anis um, scarf. And this is the tri-scarf. This is the satin material. I have it in like the textured one as well. But for today, I'm going to be using this one. Okay, if you follow Elena on Instagram, you would know that she uses her tri scarf and like she does this wavy wavy thing at the top, right? Okay, guys, I tried doing that. I don't think that it looks good on me. So what I like to do is um, here's the long side of the tri scarf, right? So I kind of like to fold it in a little bit so that my point at the top of my head is kind of pointy. So I fold in like about. Usually I fold in about this much. Yeah, and then I'll just woof. Wow, some hijab pullback action. I will just lay it on my head like that. I will kind of make it uh, even on both ends. And I'll make it pointy. I'll fold the sides and for this one, I don't even pin it. I just hold it right here and again, I'll just pull it back and I'll tie it at the back. And I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is one of my favorite styles using this tri scarf because it's really quick, it's really fast, and it really look, makes you look put together with minimal effort. For this one, I also like to use pins because um, just now we folded the material, right? So I don't want it to unfold. 
So I will try and like pin where the material folds and I'll also pin the sides so that it won't run around and like unslip. Like go out of its position, you know? And the one thing that I like about this style is that I don't feel con restricted um, at all, especially under my chin. And especially when you are out and about and you want to like do your prayers or anything, it's very very easy to take off and to put, on, to, to put it back on. Like you don't have to have like a billion and one pins. So those are my go-to hijab styles day to day, when I'm going to work, when I'm running errands. Over the weekend, I just like things very simple and efficient and elegant. I just want to share with you guys regarding Adeline's um, scarves. You can go and check out the website because she has like tutorials and she shows you how many different ways you can use the particular shawl. Like what I'm showing you right now, especially like for example with this Lux Square shawl, it's just one way you can you can like style it. There's so many other ways you can style it. So I highly recommend for you to go and check out her website and some of her videos because she really does um, show different ways to style it and you can just try and see which style works for you. That's pretty much it for this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. And follow me on Instagram as well so that you can check out like my latest updates because I update frequently there. But leave your comments down below if you have any questions regarding like where I buy certain things and all that. I will try my best to leave everything in the description box below so that you can locate um, if you are interested to purchase any of the items I mentioned in this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!